Welcome to our morning minute for today. I turn once again to Paul's epistle to the Philippians, and I want to read a few of the words that Paul wrote that are found in verse 23 and following. Paul says, I desire to depart and be with Christ, which is better by far. But it is more necessary for you that I remain in the body. Convinced of this, says Paul, I know that I will remain and I will continue with all of you for your progress and joy in the faith so that through my being with you again, your joy in Christ Jesus will overflow on account of me. For the last several lessons, we've been touching on Paul's divided desire. On the one hand, the apostle, he says as much, desires because it is far better to depart and to be with Christ. On the other hand, Paul desires to remain so that he may serve Christ in the heart of the Philippians and by extension the whole church uh, more than he had already. What we see in Paul is nothing less than a servant's spirit. He desires to go home to be with his Lord, but he's willing to remain even in the midst of the difficulties and darkness of this life. He's willing to remain so that he may have the privilege of laboring for Christ and have the joy of seeing that labor bear fruit in the heart of the Philippian believers. Truly, Paul was a man who had decided by the grace of God that whether by living or dying, his one great pursuit in regard to his existence was serving Christ. Paul's attitude was, let my body be used for whatever will serve my Lord and the good of his people. In a few verses in this same epistle, the Apostle Paul will speak to the ultimate example of selfless service. We celebrate that selfless service every year at Advent, where although certainly it would have been more pleasant and enjoyable and blessed for Jesus Christ to remain with his heavenly Father, in the realms of glory. He considered his body, his very life, an instrument for his Father's honor and his people's blessing. That is how our Christ Jesus defined himself. And so willingly, he laid aside the glory of heaven and he entered into the comparatively shadowy realm of human beings. Enduring being surrounded by our sins and our depravities, he set his face toward the cross and there made the ultimate sacrifice of his body for the redemption of his people. The reason Paul was the selfless servant that he was was because the spirit of that selfless Christ dwelled within Paul's heart and was conforming Paul to his own image, the image of the servant Christ himself. As we begin this Advent season, let our minds this year be upon the selfless service of our Savior. Advent celebrates the fact that Christ willingly, selflessly, came into our world to deliver us from all the consequences of our wrongdoing. 
Let's bow together and give thanks to Christ our Savior for his selflessness and for the Advent season, which is a celebration of Christ's selfless service. And let us also, as we pray, pray that that spirit that infused the Apostle Paul, that spirit of Christ, would infuse us as well, that we may, by the grace of God, come to view our life, our body, our very soul as instruments to serve the glory of God and the spiritual good of those who are around us. Let's pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we celebrate your advent, the coming of your selfless servant self into human existence, the preparation of yourself with a body so that you may do nothing less than offer it up for the sake of your people's sin. Lord Jesus, we praise you We honor you this Advent season for your servanthood that brings salvation and that continues to this very day. As you, seated at the right hand of the Father, live to make intercession for us, gathering us safely, each of us, into heaven. Lord Jesus, pour that spirit this holiday season and beyond into each of our hearts. You poured it into Paul's heart so that he viewed his body and his soul as mere instruments in the hand of God. O Lord, may our hearts be humbled in the same way that we may view ourselves as tools for God's glory and instruments of man's spiritual good. May we be willing and empowered to give all for that cause. Lord Jesus, it is in your name that I pray. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. May God bless you, and I will see you tomorrow.